49ers were the team that got bitten by that that injury bug in the NFC Championship and didn't have a quarterback to finish the game. They have added linebacker Eric Kendricks, a guy who had one, could have had two, could have had three interceptions of Jimmy Garoppolo in the 2019 divisional round, the game we were at for NBC. Garoppolo throwing him to him like he was wearing a 49ers uniform that day. He now will be. Yeah, hey, hey, it's a smart move by the 49ers, right? Dre Greenlaw tore the Achilles late in the Super Bowl. You know, you're not going to be ready or, or full go to start the football season. Kendricks, right? You know, of course, knows Staley. Staley's there with the 49ers. He can go, hey, Shanahan, he's still got some tread on the tire, right? Let alone, you know, he's played in some schemes similar to this before. So, yeah, I think this is a good move by the 49ers. You get a guy that, again, is still a good player. He's not great like he used to be, but he's still good. You pair him up with uh, Fred Warner. And of course, your defense doesn't miss, you know, Dre Greenlaw as much. But, you know, that's a nice signing there. And the 49ers quietly have had some good value signing here, signings here early on in free agency. To get Leonard Floyd and Yeter Gross Mottos for the prices they got them, right? You got depth and I think pretty talented football players. Probably got two players for, you know, the price of what Chase Young is looking to get as one player. And then you, you lose a Javon Kinlaw and Eric Armstead uh, as far as letting Eric Armstead go, and we'll see where that goes. But you get Jordan Elliott to add a little depth from the Cleveland Browns. You know, I think the 49ers are doing a pretty good job here of uh, rounding out that defense and making it a little bit better. And I think there is brilliance in this idea of having Kendricks there so there is an urgency to have Greenlaw right. back with right. one. Yes. And they can work him back slowly and build him up gradually and have him back to 100% and maybe even more rested overall than anyone else will be when the 49ers get to the postseason in 2024. So this was a smart move, prudent, and and an outgrowth, like you said. Staley knows the guy. It just makes sense. He's cut. He's available. There's a relationship there. There's knowledge there of how he is. He's been one of the better linebackers in the NFL over the last decade. Moved on from the Vikings after the 2020 two season yep, right. 22 yeah it was yeah. that first year with yep. Kevin O'Connell they held the defense together and then they made a lot of changes so now he lands in San Francisco and has a chance to do something he has never done get to an NFC championship game get to oh he's been to an NFC championship game how dare I forget the 2017 38-7 drubbing the Vikings took by the Eagles he was there for that <laughs> yeah he, he was. could he could be there for one that 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 goes the other way and gets the 49ers back to the Super Bowl. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.